Hi guys, it's Sherry. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to Shenzhen. As you can see, we have a robot here. If you have ever seen similar products, you may know that it is designed as an indoor product, which means we need markers on the ceiling or on the floor. And outdoors with strong light, like this, can also disturb the running of the robot. But today, let's make a challenge to see if PudoBot 2 can work in semi-outdoor environment with the Pudu's new technology, VSLAM. Are you ready? Let's go! Let's do the mapping work. Thanks, Dennis. For the previous technology, it required markers on ceiling for self-positioning. For a site uh, like 1,000 square meters, it takes almost one day to finish the deployment. But this site is 10,000 square meters. So how long does it take? PudoBot 2, with the new VSLAM technology, can locate itself through the visible light pictures collected by the top view camera. Based on deep learning neural network algorithms, PudoBot 2 can locate itself by recognizing environmental features around. After only one hour, we have finished the mapping work. It's so quick, right? But does it work? How PudoBot 2 performs against the strong sunlight? Let's start a task. It's 2 p.m. in October, and the illuminometer shows 100,000 lux. As you can see, the Pudubo 2 is still working. We just waited until evening. Now let's have a look how Wislam technology performs in the slow light environment. It's 7 o'clock in the evening and the illuminometer shows 11 lux. Okay, just check this out. Wow, the Pudubo 2 is still working. That's amazing! We can see that PudoBot 2 has no fear of working in the semi outdoor environment with no markers, strong light or even in the evening. It passed all the challenges with ease. Just follow us, we will bring you more and more challenges. See you next time!